There are six different books, including a science book on a shelf. In how many different ways can the six books be arranged on the shelf? Okay, to answer this question, we might imagine these boxes or spaces that the books might go into. And what we're going to consider, so there's six books and six spaces, and what we're going to consider is how many choices do we have for each of these positions? So if we first think about the first position here, well, we have six different books and any of them could go here. So we have six options here. In the second position, if we think about this, well, we've used up one of the books. So there's only five books left. So we have five options for that position. And as we go down the line, we'll see we have four, three, two, and only one option for the last position. And the fundamental principle of counting says, if we multiply our options at each choice we have to make, we'll get the total number of options. So we would multiply six by five by four by three by two by one, and that would be 720. There is, however, two other approaches you might consider to this on the calculator. There is a button on the calculator that multiplies immediately six by five by four by three by two by one, and it's the factorial button. So if I write in six factorial, I will see the answer is 720. Let me show you that on the Casio calculator here. So if I write in six, the factorial button is here beside the x to the negative one. So shift x to the negative one, and six factorial is 720. And there's actually a, a third approach we could take as well, because this is permutations. So we're arranging six things out of six. So if I write in six and press shift, and the multiplication button, it gives me permutation six. So six P six, the number of ways of arranging six um, objects when we're arranging all six of them, choosing all six of them. And we see the answer to that is also 720. So just another approach to this would be six P six, and that's also 720. So either of these uh, ways of thinking about this question is fine. In part two, it says, in how many ways can the six books be arranged if the science book is always on the extreme left? Well, let's imagine our positions again. So we have six books that we want to arrange. So I'm creating six boxes or tiles, spaces to stand for the books. In the first position here on the extreme left, we've been told that that has to be the science book. Now, there's only one science book, so we only have one option there. We have no other choices. Now, if we think about the second book, now we have five books left and any of the five could go here. So we have five choices for this one. And as we go down the line, we'll see we have four, three, two, and one choice. So if you multiply these, we get the answer. Now, rather than multiplying five by four by three by two by one, we would understand that that's five factorial. So this is one times five factorial. So I would put that into the calculator and I would see that I should get 120. But let's just again show you on the calculator. If I write in five factorial, I see the answer is 120. 